Hey there and welcome. My name is Carlos Berlis and let's start talking about what has been going on in the indie tabletop RPG scene. And as always, I'm not being directly sponsored by anyone mentioned here, unless explicitly said or mentioned otherwise. Some links, they may be affiliate links so that they can benefit me without cost you anything extra and all the links, they will be in the description together with some timestamps so you can jump to the point of your preference. And we start this week talking about Navatem's End by Diwata Manila, a creator from RPGC, the Southeast Asian tabletop RPG scene. The game uses the Powered by the Apocalypse engine and takes some inspiration in Forging in the Dark as well. And it was originally funded as part of the Our Shores project, an amazing project with some different uh, ideas inside of it that was on Kickstarter some time ago, and you should definitely check it out as well and look all the other titles that were on it. But more on that later on, perhaps. Navatem's End happens in Navatem, uh, like the name suggests, a world of ice bathed in fire and stitched together by lightning. And you are trying to avoid the apocalypse in it. You play as one of the seven different playbooks, each one with unique skills, and you also can kind of multi-class later on, or even become a chaos mage and bend the reality to your will using some specific mechanics to it that are looking amazing. The project, it looks just great, uh, not just the art, but also the layout and all that I've seen from the project is really good and you should check it out if it strikes your fancy and uh, but I really encourage you to do it. Moving on, we have Day Station by Pidge. It is a GM-less world building game where players answer some prompts about trains, a station and people. It explores the idea of not only how people shape places but also how places can shape people as well. You play with no dice and the duration of the game can be adjusting by tinkering some parameters of the game itself. As you respond to the prompt, you also have the opportunities to pose your own questions and at the end, the players collaborate in trying to find a bittersweet end or resolution to it. And you can also have some points to spend and try to resolve some of the stories of the game of some of the characters that you created together and they finally bring your time together to a close. Another release is Travail Saga by Michael Reston. It is a simple 2d6 game that borrows inspiration from JRPGs, uh, Japanese RPGs like Final Fantasy for instance, probably the most well known of them. The character creation is very open, you can choose from 40 different skills, 40 unique abilities and 40 different spells. And it has simple rules that work from combat to magic, crafting or even farming, okay? It seems like a fun system and the idea behind the limit breaks that it brings to the table sounds interesting enough to see it in play and I would like to try it out. And from RPG Latin, the Latin American tabletop RPG scene, we have X Binim, the latest release by Mike. This is a supplement for Mini BX from Lucas Rulim that we we actually mentioned here some times before in previous episodes, so you should check it out as well. This supplement brings three new archetypes for Mini BX: the Cultist, the Goblin Gang, and the Orc. It is a kind of a subversion of Mini BX, or as Mike himself puts it, is the Wario of Mini BX, or the Waluigi of BX. <laughs> this is really well put together and the fact to keep in mind about the Remember Realms is a great read. You have a, a table that has some facts that you should remember when you play as one of the three options that you have in the game. It's, it's, it's interesting. We also had the release of Academies of the Arcane by the Milzonian Art Council. It is originally a supplement for Troika However, it can be used as a toolkit for various other systems. It works wherever you might need a magical school, uh, students possessing horrific cosmic power, uh, um, or many manipulative and petty faculty members, uh, the kind of thing that we saw in some series and other titles as well. It has all the tools to create your magical schools, location, classes, staff, all the chess, 
It also has some nice new Troika backgrounds, which we always appreciate. Also some spells and marvelous random tables for generating schools uniforms, symbols, events, and much more. So you should check it out as well, and it is a piece of art. Lucid by World Champ Games is just out. It uses tools from Push from Cesar Capical, Torque from Will Jobs, and Necronautilus, another game that is originally from World Champ Games as well. It is a gemless game for 1 to 5 players in which you combat nightmares in the mind of other people, protecting the veil between dreaming and the walking life. It can be used for a one-shot or a single session of play that takes around an hour or you can also use it for an ongoing campaign against the forces of the nightmares. And moving on, on posts and threads, this interesting read on Luder Room about narrative and adventure modules. It is a great read that Chris discusses on how to how adventure models present the information and the motivation for the players to follow through the adventure. This one is a short read, but it's interesting nevertheless because it brings some ideas of how modern modules work with that, so how some old modules brought the idea, and how you can try to develop it if you are either creating your own modules or if you are reading one, how you can explore that and change the way that it present the ideas to your table as well. Uh, I, I thought that it was an interesting read and that you should check it out as it's a short one, you are not losing much. For today, I believe that's it. If you like the video, like the damn video, share, subscribe, you know how internet works. You can pay me a coffee on coffee. you can buy my games on itch.io. Let me know in the comments what you are liking about the series, what you are disliking about it. You know how the algorithm works, so uh, it benefits me either way and I will read each one of them and try to respond as well. And I will see you all in my next video. So, see ya!